I just want to talk on a, a situation about um, idolatry. Idolatry is an abomination unto the Lord. Anything, idols are anything that you place before the Lord, and the Lord hates idols. Idols, if you're bound down to any type of statue, you know, or any type of anything that comes before the living Lord God is an idol. For the Lord Jesus Christ, God, He is a jealous Lord, and He has that holy jealousy because he says that we should should that you know we should believe in the Lord and serve him only we should not serve any anything out there other than the Lord God you know that God will get angry at us if we will start to serve idols idols i mean anything could be an idol money could be an idol jewelry could be idols you know your own if you place your own ideas your own ambitions your own life your own friends, your own family, your own job, you know, anything like that, if you place it before God, God is going to label it, label it as an idol. A lot of people in this nation, you know, in this world, they serve idols. The thing is, you know, an idolater will not inherit the kingdom of God. So the thing is, that's why we need to make the Lord God our solid foundation. We serve God alone. Christ says that, you know, if whoever serves idols will become like that idol. You know, it's just like anybody who bows down to a little statue. It's like, you know, how can you get saved from that statue? What is the statue going to do for your life? I mean, when I see people like bowing down to statues and all that and serving these other false gods, you know, there's no help in it. A man made it. A man that they don't even know made these idols you know things that they worship so you know we should worship Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone because we're all gonna have to stand before God sooner or later and everybody's gonna have to face God and he's gonna see if we've been living right for him have you been living right for Christ have you accepted him doesn't matter if you're going to go to heaven doesn't matter or are you just trying to live life here on earth what's the purpose you know it's more than work it's it's more than you know what we live you know it's 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 so that we could experience God's life and God's power and share it with the world that's what the purpose is me you know personally I, I had to repent you know because there's things in my life that I'm placing before my Lord my Lord and my Savior and may God forgive me May I never ever bow down. And may the Lord Jesus Christ grant me the spirit to have a have a spirit in me that'll never bow down to anything besides the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, the God who came down and sat among us and died for us, rose back up, sits in heaven, judges. So I think that we all should serve the Lord. That's the truth. I mean, I'm gonna flat out say it. You know, you don't wanna you don't wanna serve the Lord. You know, there's a place it's called the Lake of Fire. That's where Jesus says that the Lake of Fire is a place where there's unquenchable pain, unquenchable flames, flames that will never, never be scorched out. You know, so we don't want to go to hell. We don't want to go to the lake of fire. Stop sinning. Let Christ and the Holy Ghost fill you. Let Christ and His ultimate power save your soul from the, from, the, from the judgment that is coming upon this earth. If you don't listen to me, then listen to God. Because I'm here to tell you, you know, this day, if, it, if, it, if anybody is here to listen to my statement here, whether it be one or whether it be twenty, at least there's one, one soul, one soul that turns to God will cover a multitude of sins. The Bible says, so it's all worth it. If I make this, if I make this video and somebody converts over to God, and his soul is spared from the lake of fire, it's all worth it. But praise the Lord even more. My soul, my soul is after God. My spirit and everything about me is for God. 
if you guys don't know, because for real, I love Jesus Christ so much. He, lo he loves me. He, he has spared my life. He loves you too, just as much as he loves me. He don't love anybody in this world more than he loves you. He loves everybody the same. He loves everybody the same. He loves the wicked and the good. I mean, he don't love the wickedness, but he even loves, you know, the people that are out there lost in the world. He loves them. He wants to save them. He wants to pull them in. You know? God is called the the God is not called the righteous, but he has called sinners to unto repentance. For it's not for the well who need healing, but it's for the sick who need a physician. Christ is the physician. He wants to save. He wants to heal men to put together. You know, they might say, oh yeah, that dude over there, Israel, you know what I'm saying? They used to say it to me all the time. Oh, that's all you talk about is God. Yeah, because God is in my heart. God is in my heart. You know, for the abundance of the heart, the mouth is going to speak. You know what I'm saying? So we have to talk about Christ. Let Christ, you know, rule our lives. I know that God has my life in His hands. You know, and I know that, you know, sometimes I'm out there quiet. You know, for the sole purpose of, you know, keeping, keeping my life in working standards. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping my life in working standards. I have to sometimes ease up a little bit, you know. And so, you know, but really inside of me. Inside my soul, I mean, I just, re I'm, psh, I'm at full thrust in the power of God. May the Holy Ghost burn fire upon me in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost power and upon you too. In Jesus' name, glory to the Lord. And may the Lord God bless you in Jesus' name. According to Psalm 107.20, God sent His word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Right now in Jesus' name, may God send His powerful, powerful word unto you. In Jesus' name, God is the miracle maker. Not me, not any man, but Christ Jesus Christ is a miracle God. Miracle God, He can perform it in your life. Believe it.